ladies and gentlemen, we have markers, markers, and more markers. Hello there, guys. My name is Coach Shadogs, the Born Bot Built for Theme Park Facts Entertainment, and welcome to this Theme Park News Update where today we've got some big, big stuff from King's Island because we've got some markers that have showed up on the entrance plaza, around that sort of entrance plaza area. And we're going to talk about my predictions as to what it could be uh, and share with you some pictures of the markers. Massive shout out to Costa Nation uh, who allowed me to use these pictures. And uh, yeah, we've got we, we even got their own map. They've even created a map and they placed the markers in specific positions. And I managed to draw myself a nice yellow circle to join up the dots and create uh, this site. So. Uh, um, we're going to look at all of that, we're going to look at all the information that's been going on. This has been going on since the start of August, so it's good that we're rep reporting this now. Uh, because we can sum it all up and of course more stuff has happened uh, So before we get started guys make sure you like comment subscribe click the case bell so you never miss a YouTube video We do have some massive shout outs to give to you guys So here is the shout outs for today's video Some massive shout outs to Falco Flair and also to Brian Galeas and a big happy birthday for Saturday um, a Big happy birthday to you and good luck for your birthday on Saturday and for now, guys, let's get into talking about the King's Island Markers. Oh, yeah. So it was first reported by Coastal Nation on August 8th. That's how far this is going back. Over the course of that last week, new markers have been appearing at King's Island, generally used to indicate construction on the plot of land. A close-up of one of the new markers, which is on the website, can be seen in the image, which is located next to the current COVID temperature testing tent near the park's entrance. And there are markers running alongside Columbia Road, as seen in the map, uh, which is already on your screen. The pink flags indicate a temporary survey marking slash unidentified facilities. And furthermore, the white sprays on Columbia Road indicates that the land will be excavated. The placement of the markers are within range of runoff storm drains, and it's highly likely that these storm drains are be too expanded to handle increased runoff. There are also markers being added inside the park as well. This marker was found by an electrical box by the entrance of Son of Beast. That image is already on your screen. Uh, and as the map comes back onto your screen, it leads to the main question. Why would the park expect increased runoff? Well, considering that the runoff would feed from the parking lot to the en an entrance plaza slash action zone, it's likely that the alterations will be made to the entrance plaza or action zone. If the work is to be done on the plaza, Cedar Fair may be attempting to renovate the entryway as seen in recent years with Carowinds, Cedar Point and Worlds of Fun. Maybe complete with a shiny new wing coaster. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, the second alternative is that they are planning to expand Action Zone. Now since the markers deal the runoff uh, from the hill that Invertigo and Congo Falls sits on, it's possible the new work may be on that site. Considering the park recently received parts from Stinger 4 in Vertigo, it's probably the work site could be the plot of land adjacent to Congo Falls. In terms of updates over August, more markers were placed over the course of the past week, um, back on the 28th, 22nd of August. Uh, the new markers, which are pink sprays on Columbia Road, are near the road intersection by the bat and they can be seen while riding on the bat and yesterday as of the 23rd of August yesterday for the first time in many years the lights around the Son of Beast queue were turned on and these themed lights were part of the Outpost 5 theme and they went along with the Son of Beast now it's interesting to note similar work was done in the past prior to other park projects now in 2018 the lights for the old Flight Commander ride were turned on shortly before it was demolished for the King's Mills Antique Autos furthermore more markers have appeared north of the original set of markers and they can be seen from the bat and the pathway between Great Wolf Lodge and King's Island and the markers are for the excavation of the road and temporary service markers. This work begs the question, what is the marker planning to do? What is the pot planning to do? What are they planning to do? Could this be a new entrance plaza? Could we see an expansion of Action Zone? Let's just hope they pave the parking lot while working in the area. So all that information was from Coastal Nation, as well as the pictures that are already on your screen. So massive shout out to Coastal Nation once again for them. But looking at the site once again then, with the yellow circle around it, um, so looking at that site, I mean that's a big site to work with, not gonna lie, that's a big site to work with and with the Son of Beast lights turned on, I mean that could signal that they're gonna be turned off and demolished very very soon and that is 
probably going to be one of the, the last sort of memories, really, of Son of Beast. <laughs> um... Now, obviously, as well, there was, an, uh, there was a marker which we showed you that was on the electrical box near the, near the entrance to Son of Beast. And, um, I mean, looking back, this is a, a decent plot of land for, a, like, an expansion of the action zone. Um, I mean, if you take away the, the theatre that's just below the yellow circle, if you take away that, I think it's like an amphitheatre space, uh, if you take that away as well, if you demolish that, then you've got yourself a decent coaster space, haven't you? Um, I mean, you've got a decent plot of land for a coaster if you take away the the, the amphitheater space um, and you sort of expand that area out. Nothing like a wing coaster, nothing like the gatekeeper style thing that they did with Cedar Point's entrance, but maybe a, maybe a dive coaster? I mean, that would work very, very well at the park. And, uh, you know, the site is big enough. So, you know, that would be nice. Uh, maybe they go along the single rail route and they do kind of like what California's Great America did with Railblazer. They do a bigger, uh, longer, faster, most in more inverting or more looping uh, Raptor Coaster maybe. So that would be a good uh, fit. Obviously the capacity will be an issue for the Raptor Coaster because of course, you know, Kings Island is one of the bigger Cedar Fair parts. So capacity would be a problem with this ride. Um, but I think if they increase the capacity, like do it two seats per train and, you know, doing it, you know, that way and maybe more cars on the train to give it a longer train. Uh, and maybe for, if you only want run one train or if you can fit two in there, fair play. Um, then you would be looking at a decent looking coaster. And, you know, I think that uh, you could create a nice new entrance way for it. You could do a... You could take inspiration from Gatekeeper, you could do a nice zero-G stall through the keyhole or something. And, um, you know, that would be a nice way to renovate the park entrance. Um, as well as having a coaster, a new coaster running through it. I think many people think that the next coaster is going to be on Vortex site. I think with the site here, maybe they're waiting for that site. Maybe that site's going to stay, you know, vacant for a few years. I mean, you've got to look at Son of Beast. That stayed closed uh, after, around 2009 way up until its demolishment before the 2014 opening of Banshee. So, you know, that's a few years without a coaster on that site. So, you know, it's not impossible for, for Vortex not to have a coaster on that site for a few years. And uh, I think if they were going to do a new coaster before the Vortex replacement, I think this is the site you would look to do it on. So, I think that this is a decent site. I mean, the other route that could go down is a flat rides package for Action Zone. They could do so, a couple of nice flat rides. I think with markers there, they could do this for 2021, or this could be a 2022 project if it is going to be a coaster. And um, yeah, it should be interesting to see what they do here. I mean, that we could be looking at an entrance plaza area, um, and we could be looking here at a specific, um, you know, specifically redone entrance plaza. And I think if it's for 2021, if it is a brand new entrance plaza, then fair play to, get to Cedar Fair and Kings Island. Uh, for doing a re-themed entrance plaza and a redesigned entrance plaza to make it more modernized uh, with the park. So, you know, again, fair play to them. So, I think that this is going to be a good, um, whatever it is, it's going to be a good, you know, thing for Kings Island. And I think that, you know, whatever it is, whether it's a brand new coaster, whether it's a re redesigned entrance plaza, whether it is a flat rides package or family thrill rides package for action zone whatever it is it'll be a great thing for the park so there we go guys that is talking about this brand new markers taking place at king's island and wow 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 this is definitely going to be an interesting one um so i spoke more a, a lot about my predictions you know in that uh, specific bit and um, yeah this is definitely going to be one to watch I really really can't wait for this I think that if it is going to be some new rides or a new ride then uh, I think that they're going to take advantage of the fact that there is going to be like a, a whole you know re entrance redo I think whether you put a coaster in either way I think this is going to be an entrance redo uh, along with an action zone expansion it could be both and um, yeah I think that a dive coaster or a single rail coaster with you know extra capacity that would fit the park would be you know decent fit for the uh, for the theme park and I think it'd be a decent fit for Kings Island and I think that 
Um, like I said, this would be just the next big development uh, before the Vortex site. And like I said, Son of Beast site stayed, you know, either standing but not operating or vacant for a few years before Banshee came in. So, you know, Vortex may stay vacant for a few years yet. You know, Vortex may not get its replacement until like 2026. Um, and I think if we're going to get a new coaster for 2022 at Kings Island in that site, then I think another four year wait wouldn't be a bad thing, wouldn't it? So, you know, Kings Island has been really investing over the last few years. So it's no secret that Kings Island are in the running for a new coaster in a couple of years anyway. So um, whether it was a, a multi-launch on Vortex's site, whether it was something to go with a brand new entrance in the action zone area, don't matter. It really doesn't matter. Um, I hope they give it an Outpost 5 thing and they give it the number 5 as a live and do like a nice steel beast or something. Um, I'm, that, that, I mean, you know, obviously in the past they've turned on lights and demolished them for something completely unrelated, but my hope would be that this is a, a sign that we could get a steel Son of Beast, uh, like a single rail version of Son of Beast. Or maybe, maybe we could get the dive coaster and just theme it to Outpost 5. Uh, so there we go, guys. That is looking at the markers from Kings Island. Again, massive shout out to Coast Nation for the images used in the video. Uh, they do some great stuff on their website. Make sure you go and check it out. I've linked the article. In the description down below so you can check it out for yourself after now guys my name is coast shell keep living the coast life and i'll see you guys in the next video very very soon don't forget six flags announcement august 27th we're getting closer and closer thank you very much guys have an awesome day